She's a Hollywood VIP and a two-time Oscar-winning actress. Tonight, we're taking you inside Hillary Swank's swanky former New York townhouse. This is a house that offers a character and a charm that's unmistakable and speaks to a lot of creative types. It's a property that truly has star power. This is a work of art, really a statement piece. And welcome to Luxury Living. I'm Ty Milburn. Over the next half hour, we'll travel the tri-state as we do, touring some jaw-dropping properties that feature the finer things in life. Summertime at One Lighthouse Point is like no other. That includes a Long Island estate where there's a working lighthouse in the backyard. You are taking in a piece of history every day. And the $28 million Connecticut equestrian estate that has its own Grand Prix field. 87 acres of rolling, lush grounds with riding trails throughout. But our first stop, the New York listing that actress Hilary Swank once called home. Welcome to 33 Charles, a stunning West Village townhouse gem. Live like a Hollywood star or a million dollar baby. This four-story New York City brownstone was once owned by two-time Oscar winner Hilary Swank and her former husband, actor Chad Lowe. This is a house with a wow factor that's understated and simple and elegant. The nearly $11 million property boasts two outdoor entertaining areas and five fireplaces. Showing us around today, Christopher Cromer from Halstead Real Estate. As soon as you arrive on the parlor level with its 11-foot ceilings and working gas fireplace, you get that special feeling of being home. Built in 1899, the renovated townhouse blends modern elegance with classic charm. The main attraction to the house is how it melds its pre-war original detail with a modern allure. These beautiful pocket doors which separates that large spacious living room and invites you into this wonderful library. It's open, spacious, it's got plenty of seating for entertaining as well as for intimate gatherings and it's very, very bright. And right outside, an outdoor terrace. Now we head downstairs. On this floor, there's a mudroom, a den, a limestone clad kitchen, and another fireplace. Two sinks, two dishwashers, six burner stovetop, wolf range. You have a double wide fridge over here, and you have a really nice seating area here. The sun flooded breakfast area is brightened by a wall of glass windows, and these floor to ceiling doors open up to your own private garden. It's a great place to party and dine al fresco. You have this huge spacious garden, perfect for intimate gatherings, large get togethers, shooting some hoops. You can even take the stairs back up to the terrace we showed you that's off the parlor floor. Our next stop, the third floor. Now we're entering the master suite which occupies the entire floor. You have this bright sunlit bedroom and of course, a fireplace. No issue with space thanks to this huge walk-in closet. In this luxurious spa-like bath, you have this large soaking tub right next to this wonderful fireplace. You have two sinks, a walk-in shower, these beautifully designed mirror walls, and tons of cleverly designed storage space. Now it's on to the fourth floor. Here we are on the top floor in what the owner always refers to as his favorite floor. Why? Because it's sunlit all over. You have three skylights, three bedrooms, a lovely windowed bathroom, and a hookup for a second bath if you like. In the finished basement, we find a temperature controlled wine cellar and plenty of room for storage. 33 Charles Street is truly a home with celebrity pedigree. It's no wonder it attracted Hollywood's elite. This is a house that offers a certain level of privacy, the character and a charm that's unmistakable and speaks to a lot of creative types. A home for the rich and famous, or anyone who enjoys the finer things in life. Hillary Swank sure has some good taste. Our next property, though, in Richfield, Connecticut. It sits on more than 80 acres, and this place is truly a horse lover's paradise. It's a horse lover's fantasy. 87 acres of rolling lush grounds with riding trails throughout. An Olympic level equestrian estate right in Richfield, Connecticut. It's a trophy property. It's probably the most beautiful top 
equestrian property in the country. This $28.5 million compound comes with three homes, two barns, plus a little bit of history. It was the oldest dairy barn in Ridgefield. In 1781, French troops marched under Rochambeau onto the farm and camped here during the Revolutionary War. And we begin the tour in the main house at 40 Neds Lane. It was built with every amenity that you could imagine and the quality of the build is incredible. We've got about 14,000 square feet to cover, so let's get started in the great room. Built with 38 foot ceiling height, vintage wood beams from Vermont. The walls are Venetian plaster, fieldstone limestone fireplace. Perfect place to sit and cozy up with your family. There's also a wall of windows to admire your postcard views. And here we are in the gourmet eating kitchen with the gathering space for the family. Take note, another fireplace. We even have a La Cornu stove handmade in France. So as beautiful as this kitchen family room is, this is my favorite room. Come with me. This is an outdoor year-round kitchen with one of the best views. Around the corner, we find the formal dining room and the office, and yes, they both have fireplaces. And here you have French doors leading out to your own private mahogany deck. Step out and watch your horses train. Now we head to the first floor master suite. Complete with Venetian walls, 20-foot dome ceiling, a gas limestone fireplace, and another wall of glass so that you can overlook the property. The master boasts two showers, a jacuzzi tub, and yet another fireplace, folks. So many homes have luxurious master suites, but what home has a secret staircase? Follow me. So where does it lead to an epic lower level? And here we are in the golf room. How fun is this? You can practice your putt anytime. Or tee off whenever you want, thanks to this golf simulator. Welcome to the climate controlled wine cellar. Heavy wrought iron doors, antique glass, Italian mosaic tiles, and limestone racks for your wine. Down here, there's also a massage room, a sauna, a bar, and even a media room. And here's the elevator that goes to all floors. Join me in the Eagle's Nest, which is the highest point in the house with the best views over the property. Now it's time for a field trip. We hop in the car to see what else a Double H Farm has to offer. As we drive through the grounds, you can see why this is considered a world-class horse training facility. Welcome to the main barn. 20 stalls, you have four wash and grooming stalls, you have laundry, tack room, soft stall matting in all of the stalls, light, airy, large, and the floors are radiant heated, rubber tiled, a horse's dream. In 2013, they converted this from the dairy barn. They built this connector. It's extra, extra height, wall of windows, radiant heated rubber tiled ramp so that the horses can be unloaded in the winter and they won't slip. And here we are in the trophy lounge room. Also on the grounds, indoor and outdoor rings and an Olympic caliber Grand Prix show jumping field with viewing stands. Plus there's a party barn, a pool, a pool house and a tennis court. There's a four bedroom home built in 2013. They also took the original circa 1700 farmhouse, moved it, renovated it from the outside walls in. So much to see and do on these sprawling 87 acres, a truly one of a kind list. This house was built with love, pride, and perfection. It feels like a home, not a showcase. This is a one-of-a-kind house. You just don't see them built like this anymore. Coming up on Luxury Living, we'll take you to a New York estate that feels more like a ski chalet on the slopes of Aspen. I think this house is going to sell to someone who appreciates quality. 